Well, hurricane season is almost here, and a local university released their prediction today on what the season could bring. So what's it going to look like? CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing is here to break it all down. Rachel. Yeah, so Rest and Liz, we're getting closer and closer to the start of hurricane season. We are now down to 47 days, and right in our own backyard, NC State released their outlook for the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. So they are calling for 12 to 15 named storms, six to eight hurricanes, and two to three major hurricanes. This is actually pretty close to what an average season would bring. 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. Now, a few weeks ago, Colorado State University released their outlook, which called for a little bit more. 17 hurricanes, 17 named storms, excuse me, nine hurricanes, and four major hurricanes. Again, this is a little higher than the NC State forecast and slightly higher than average, but both of these outlooks call for storms than what we ended up with last season. Now, are there a lot of factors and some uncertainty with those factors that go into these outlooks, which is why they're both just a little bit different. But one of those factors, the water temperature. So water temperatures across the Atlantic, as well as the Gulf and the Caribbean are running warmer than average. Tropical systems need water of at least 80 degrees. So if the water is already warmer than average, that is just more fuel. Now, while hurricane season officially begins June 1st. It is not impossible to have tropical development before then. We've had that in the past, but typically our most active part of hurricane season is the middle of September. The official hurricane season forecast from NOAA will be released in about a month on May 22nd. But remember, whatever the forecast calls for, be ready no matter what. We say it every year and every year it's true. It doesn't matter how many storms there are. It only takes one to impact you. We will, of course, keep you updated, but fortunately, Wes, no tropical concerns at all today.